the question they are asking us to identify the true statement so let us first take the option a option a says that the scalar quantity is the one that is conserved in the process so in order to understand this let us first imagine so there is a total energy so total energy we know that it is a scalar quantity and according to the law of conservation of energy we have studied that the total energy is always remains conserved in a process it's true but there are also sometimes a case where the kinetic energy which is also a scalar quantity okay it does not in sometimes in a in elastic collision in a in elastic type of collisions we have seen that the kinetic energy remains unconserved that is it is not conserved there though kinetic energy being a scalar quantity it is not conserved in that process so option a is wrong coming to option b option b says that a scalar quantity is the one that can never take the negative values so as we know the potential potential is a scalar quantity we have seen that it has taken a positive value and also sometimes negative values similarly temperature temperature is also a, a, a scalar quantity uh, suppose it is measured in kelvin then also it possess positive values and it can take up positive and negative values or in degree centigrade also it can take up positive and negative values so here option c is also option b is also wrong now coming to option c option c says that the scalar quantity is the one that does not vary from one point to another point in a space let us take this so let us take the same example as before potential we have seen that the potential of a charge varies with a with distance as the distance varies the potential of the charge also varies so we can say that the, since the potential is a scalar quantity so as uh, as it is uh, it does it varies between one point to another point in the space so uh, option c is also wrong coming to option d option d says that a scalar quantity has the same value for the observers with the different orientations let us check this so for this uh, let us try to assume imagine there is xy plane and there is a vector ab and uh, the magnitude of vector ab is a scalar which is equals to r when i shift or when i uh, change the orientation of the vector ab in the and i take it to the negative xy plane then i can see that there also the magnitude of ab will be r that is the magnitude of ab is nothing but it is a scalar quantity so though the orientation has been changed over here the scalar quantity has the same value that is option d is true 